Welcome to the Conscious Call Out. I am Tamasa Makapinlak, your holistic business mentor, known as the Self Care Queen. And I help women entrepreneurs build a profitable business on their terms without compromising their, their health, their relationships, and the things that are important to them. So I want to welcome you to my first episode of the Conscious Callout. And so before I begin, I want to talk about what the word conscious means. Conscious means the awareness of something, bringing something up from the unconscious level and becoming aware of it. And so, you know, I want to tell you something. First of all, I'm going to put something out there for you and you can choose to embrace it. You can choose to believe it. You can choose not to believe it. You can disagree or agree and it's okay. So every one of us is walking around unconscious about something in our lives. Only 2% of our lives are we conscious about things. We're aware about things. The other 98% we're generally unconscious about. And so, you know, here it is. I want to share with you, you know, that when we feel triggered by someone, something happens. Like maybe we get angry or we get sad or we feel emotions or we think something and we try to fix it or whatever it is, whatever our reaction is. When we have a strong reaction to someone or some situation, there is something within ourselves we need to look at. And I'm going to say for you, that is true as well. And so I'm going to give you an example of my life. So here it is. I'm being vulnerable with you. But I'm going to share with you because it is a very much a teaching point and I've taught it on some of my seminars before and have shared this story. And so I want to share with you that, you know, about a decade or so ago, I stopped talking to a very close family member. I mean, I spent a lot of time on the phone with this family member. When I would go to my hometown, I would stay with this family member. And, um, and the thing about it is I stopped talking to her. I stopped talking to her. I got angry with her because I felt like I had been stabbed in the back. And I got triggered when I heard the things that I would hear that she would say about me behind my back after I would leave her home. And so I didn't want to believe it. I didn't even, you know, I, and, and the truth of the matter is I was really hurt instead of going to that family member and telling them or her that I was hurt, I retaliated. I retaliated in a way to pull back my love from her. And so I stopped talking to her and I talked about her behind her back. And I talked and I was so angry and so hurt that it showed up in my body. It showed up in my body in that I eventually manifested myself having a bleeding colon. And if you know anything about bleeding colons, because you know, I have a Chinese medicine background. And what I know about the colon, and even physiolog physiologically, you know that the colon is about letting go of things. It's about letting go of your shit. And so I was not willing to let go of my shit, apparently. And so instead, I manifested it in having a bleeding colon. And it was hard to let go of my shit then. And it hurt to let go of my shit. And I went through a whole process of letting go of my shit. And honestly, you know, it was about me holding back my love and me mimicking the same thing that she was doing to me. I started doing it to her. And I probably was doing it to her before, she even, before I even became aware that she was doing it to me. So she was showing me the mirror of me. And so I want you to know... I got over the bleeding colon. I healed it. And I became, and the reason why I healed it is because I became aware that I needed to let go of trying to be right in the relationship with her. And so what I did was I did a lot of forgiveness. I remember going in the tub and just sobbing one day because I was so sick, so sick with my lungs, a flu, 
That was many years ago. Do you see how we manifest these things in our lives? And the bleeding colon all at once. And so I had to have a critical point in my life to have this happen. So I had to make a choice. Do I continue down this road of unforgiveness and being upset and angry? Or do I forgive? That's a crossroad. And I chose the route of forgiveness. So I began to forgive. And I knew deep inside of me that I had so much to forgive. I had to let her be who she was and have it be okay. And, and the truth was, I had to let myself be who I was with all my flaws and all and to show up in the world authentically. And that ultimately was my healing. And I say this with you with tears coming because I know that it's my truth on my soul level. And so I want you all to really see what is coming up for you for healing. Because <clears throat> I'm going to share with you another part of this story. Almost two years ago, around my 50th birthday, I had a blow up with this person again. She came at me and uh, listened to the words, the victimized words. And um, I was upset. I was sad. And I let her know this time. And we went through a process with our healing with each other. And we're still probably going through a process, honestly. And she had to go through a period of time where she couldn't talk to me for a year. And I have to tell you, initially, I was upset about it. So it was another layer coming up for healing for me with this relationship. And um, for me, what happened is I immediately began to look after the initial reaction and say, okay, what is it that you really want? I really want love from this person and I really want acceptance from this person. But really who I have to do this for is for me, is to love and accept myself. And I came to that, that bridge and crossed it and still are crossing it. And here's the thing is that it's my awareness of evolution of loving and accepting myself. And I can't tell you how many of us have this going on for us. And so with that, I allowed her the space to not talk to me and have it be okay. And not talk about her behind her back because I was angry and upset. But I would really come from a place of my authenticity that I was sad about the situation. And so on my 51st birthday in my box, I got a message from her wishing me a happy birthday. And I came to her and I said, I want you to know this is the best birthday gift that I could ever receive. And it was. And from that day on, we slowly began to build our relationship back up. And I'm happy to say that we're talking. And talking on a very conscious level. She's one of my very few family members who is very conscious about these things. And so, um, do you see what can happen when you bring things to the conscious level? Healing comes on so many levels. The physical level the mental, emotional level, and uh, just touching your soul. And it opens up energetic blocks that were there. They get cleared, and that is the truth. So what are you holding on to? What are you being triggered by? Some food for thought for you. What do you need to clear to proceed, to move forward, to be who you're here to be here, and this lifetime and show up consciously. So this is Tomasa Maka Pinlak, your anchor woman at the five on the conscious call out and allowing you to come forth and play full out in your life as I step in to the medicine woman that I'm here to be. Namaste. For more information to help you on your conscious journey, contact Tomasa at info at selfcarequeendom.com.